Hi, my name is Jody Cross, and I'm the proprietor of The Cat, the Book and the Candle, located in Cambridge, Ontario. And the purpose for this video is to talk a little bit about hypnosis, how it works, some of the most common fears and misconceptions, and how hypnosis can benefit you. And I have had both the privilege and the honor of being a certified hypnotherapist with the National Guild of Hypnotists since 2005. And I was amazed, astounded, and everything else when I found out firsthand after I opened up my own practice at the wide range of issues that hypnosis was able to help people with. Everything from smoking cessation to weight loss to past life regressions, helping people uh, recall their past lives, memory enhancement sports enhancement, letting go of li limiting beliefs and habits. You name it, hypnosis was helping people with it. And then I decided I had to, like, had to become an instructor with the National Guild and teach other people how to, how to work with other people in this amazing modality. So I did that back in 2012. And I haven't looked back since. So let's talk a little bit about how hypnosis works. So this is it in a nutshell. It's kind of a simplistic kind of uh, explanation, but it'll make sense. So there's a couple of different parts to your mind. There's the conscious part of your mind and there's the subconscious part of your mind. And the conscious part, it deals in logic, thinking, reasoning, the here, the now, your conscious mind, it puts limitations on your beliefs. The subconscious part of your mind doesn't understand limitations. It takes everything literally, doesn't understand the difference between imagination and reality. And it, it it's like it behaves like a four or five year old little kid. So you have to tell it everything, like everything, like exactly, like literally. So... Because the subconscious mind deals in the language of the imagination and symbolism, we just have to find a way, and we do that using hypnotic techniques to quiet the conscious part of your mind, the part that's putting limitations on you, dealing in logic. We quiet this, and then we have direct access to this. The subconscious mind also contains all of your memories. All of your experiences, everything you've ever smelt, felt, heard, it's all back there, including the memories of your past lives. So that's what we do. We quiet this and then we have access to this. And then we talk to the subconscious in the language that in the, it understands. And everybody's different. When you use somebody somebody's imagination some people are going to be visual people some people will see pictures like they're at the movies some people don't some people hear sounds some people smell things some people are very auditory some people are very tactile for example if you wanted someone to imagine a jacket a visual person you might see you would say see the jacket a tactile person, if that was the way to their imagination, you might say something like, feel the jacket, feel the textures. What does the jacket feel like? And a good hypnotherapist is going to take the time with you and sit down with you and find the right way to use your imagination and the way that your subconscious understands in order to make the changes that you want to make. So it's a matter of uh, opening that drawer using your imagination or symbolism or both letting the subconscious know the changes that you want to make because it doesn't understand the difference between imagination and reality. It sees it and it makes it so. Another example is if you cut your arm, you don't look at your arm and say, okay, form a scab now. It just seems to happen. It's your subconscious mind that's behind the scenes. It tells your body, okay, form a scab, form a blood clot, you know, heal. Your subconscious mind is behind the scenes, scenes in all aspects. So it's just a matter of accessing the subconscious mind and telling it what you want in a language that it understands. And it really is that simple. 
So there's a lot of misconceptions that uh, surround hypnosis. And one of them is that the person in the chair or the person being hypnotized is under and they are anything but under. The person is aware, the person is a definite participant in what's going on. A very big misconception is a revelation of secrets. A lot of people are afraid that uh, if the hypnotist asks for their bank card and then asks for their pin, they're going to have no choice but to give it. That's not going to happen because the subconscious mind is the part that's in charge of your morality and your ethics. And if there's something that you don't want to do, it goes against what you believe. You're not going to do it. Nobody's going to make you. Um, hypnotism really doesn't work that way. It accesses the power of your subconscious mind and it goes in alignment with your goals, with your aspirations, with what you really want for yourself. Uh, hypnosis never goes against you it always goes with you and that's something that a lot of people don't seem to understand but that's the way it works and that attributes a lot to hypnosis and sex a lot of people when they've been in hypnosis they say it felt like a daydream so they were awake they're not out of it they're in control but it just kind of seems like they're a bit far away. Have you ever driven and you've been just engrossed in your own thoughts or so lost in whatever's on the radio and you don't really remember getting to where you, your, your destination? That's pretty much, pretty much what hypnosis feels like. So you never lose control. What hypnosis is doing is helping you to access that part of yourself that does have control, that can make those changes. And how empowering is that for you? Another big misconception is that people are afraid they're going to cluck like chickens. Everybody's afraid they're going to cluck like a chicken. So when you see those stage hypnotists, and people are clucking like chickens. The only reason that they are doing that is because they want to do that. If somebody was like, no way I'm going to cluck like a chicken, nobody can make them. And that's really the, the fast and simple answer. And it's the right answer. So that's the short version on hypnosis. But if there are, if there are any changes that you want to make in your life, um, whether it's breaking a habit, whether it's finding out more about yourself, whether it's finding out more about your past, this life, past life, anything at all, please feel free to give me a call or an email. My website is catbookandcandle.com. My email is catbookandcandle at rogers.com. And if not me, another uh, hypnotherapist, just make sure that you're talking to somebody who seems to know what they're talking about who will not give you a cookie cutter approach, who is willing to give you an intake session, who is willing to look at the way your personal subconscious mind works and find the best way to work for you. And if they're not doing that, definitely find another hypnotherapist. And I am wishing everybody the brightest of blessings and may you find what your heart desires. Thank you.